Hey guys, welcome back. I'm EDC Gunner, and this is another watch review. This is RS Aquas. This is RS Aquas automatic Swiss made watch. Great value, great watches. I put these watches in a price bracket under $2,000, and I think this is one of the best buys out there, along with some other brands we're not gonna mention because of the competition and ours did pay us a hefty sum for this review i'm just kidding competition is zen longine uh, even tech Corp, even but tech Corp, i think is one step above respectfully uh, especially from this rs aquas this is a monochromatic gray bezel and uh, this would never be my first choice looking the photos on the web uh, on the interwebs, but uh, having seen it in person, I think this is a great, great, great trade option for this watch. And uh, uh, usually you get an Aquas with the black bezel, black dial, uh, black bezel, green dial, blue dials, whatever. Uh, but uh, this is just great watch. It's powered by Salita uh, movements. Uh, as most Oris watches are, unless you're buying really old ones with the ETA. But great, overall great, great bank per buck, great value. And this is one of those uh, underrated divers because, uh, and Oris is not underrated in the watch community per se, but uh, in, the, in, the, in the real world out there, if you know what I mean. If you don't, uh, then you're you're lost, my friend. If you don't, then you're spending way too much time on YouTube, on watch groups, on forums, and whatnot. But what I want to say was, when you go out out there in the public, out there in the field, and you you wanna see, ask average person what Aura says, do you know this brand? Do you recognize it? Uh, chances are they're gonna say no and the Longines is much more recognizable as a brand uh, If you ask me uh, if you compare this to Longines Hydro Conquest this watch wins in terms of the quality build quality This watch is built like a tank and the bracelet alone proves it. This is a bracelet. This is a bit of a, one of those chunkier uh, or Aquases, but he's not fat. He's just big boned. There's a version with the 42 mils. This is a 44 and uh, The bracelet is 22 at the lugs. There's a version normal version I will try to get you one of these borrow this watch from a body of mine just to show you to do a review and uh, Yeah, great monochromatic look on this one is just what gives it uh what gives it appeal and um uh, i love it i love gray i'm not a gray man but i love it i do uh <laughs> i don't mind a colorful watch a yellow is my favorite uh, but gray monochromatic great concept for a gray man yeah there's a concept of a gray man i, I think it's even a book uh google it check it out and this would be a great watch for that. Uh, other than that, I uh, would just take a quick look. Basil has a nice grip uh, uh, here. Uh, works great. Uh, it's not your Rolex Basil, but yeah, uh, it is what it is. It's not a mega Brazil. Uh, also, this watch is well worn, well used, and still looks great. Sapphire crystal, you can see the AR coating here on it. Uh, 300 meter wood resistant watch. Again, this is a serious dive watch. Has a date complication there. Great loom, great glow in the dark. Uh, if you are, if you like that kind of, if you have that fetish, personally. I have other fetishes. Glow in the dark is at the bottom of my list. And it's funny, when I first started with watches, glow in the dark was very important to me. Uh, but the more you are in the hobby, uh, it's less and less and less important. So 
beautiful case, stainless steel, of course. Uh, this is reminiscent of a little bit of a tuna case, but not. It's it's not conventional case. Has this cruise for lugs, and uh, here I've, uh, uh, you can see the movement here. This is a Salita SW200. So base Salita movement like so ETA 2824. So this is a great watch, especially in the used market. I can recommend. This is one of those best affordable dial watches under 2K, definitely. And if you're a lucky bastard, you find this one on eBay or somewhere under 1K, grab it. And uh, <laughs> it's not unheard of that people bought this for way for six, seven hundred US dollars uh, all day long. And this one is also one of those watches. Uh, so on the used market, great buy, even better buy. Uh, interesting case design. Here you have a crown guards uh, with this here. I don't know, are these fake screws or real screws? I would say these are, uh, I would have to unscrew them to check it out, but I think these are fake screws. Auris screw down crown, nice bezel, monochromatic bezel. Very good, very beautiful on the wrist, and uh, just overall good, honest watch. And uh, uh, what I like about Auris, they do not pretend to be a brand. Uh, they do not pretend to be a luxury brand. They are just good, honest, decent brand. And uh, they work. Also, RS has made an in-house movement, an in-house uh, version of the RS Aquas with in-house movement. And I believe that one, that movement has a five day power reserve. It has a 10 year warranty, which is awesome. You get a watch with a 10 year warranty. The thing that's not awesome is the price. I think it's 4K and for that money, you are getting into the Tudor territory. And uh, it's up for you, but on the paper, a uh, new RS Aquas with the new in-house movement with the big power reserve uh, with the 10 year warranty wins. So that's, that's it, but of course, this is not it. This one you buy on a used market on a bargain price with a proven sturdy movement uh, that any watchmaker can service and it's gonna work for years. So yeah, that's it. Or a is for you guys. One of the best values out there.